Hey guys, how y'all doing? Tyler Austin with MyGeekCentral.com And in this tutorial I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to input that icon that we just created inside of Adobe and put it inside of your HTML text. So I've already done it. So I'm going to talk it over with you. Uh, it goes right underneath of the close of your head and before the start of your body. Alright. going to create a, a link its relation is your shortcut icon hyper reference equals whatever folder you have it in and whatever icon remember if it's just on your local host you're gonna be able to put images slash icon dot png but when you upload it onto your server depending on where you input that image you might have to put your full http so on and so forth or um, like for GoDaddy, you can just have your images folder inside of your whole HTML folder, and y it'll work just fine, just like this. Um, so just be aware of that. And your type is image slash x icon. Okay. So and it's a self-closing uh, um, bracket. So go ahead and put that slash at the end there. Okay. So that's what that's the uh, the code that you have to input. And of course, yours might be different if you saved it as something else other than icon. Um, so this is what I inputted on our website here. So let's go ahead and bring up our our uh, local host server for y'all. All bring it up and there we go there we go right there MWF now um, I did notice that our icon was a little bit small so you might want to up the uh, um, either make the pixels larger of the um, or the font rather make your font a little bit bigger or um, you could make it a little bit more bold or something um, so other than that, that's how you make that uh, the icon up there in your title. If you all have any questions, uh, just let me know. Um, the next video that we're going to be covering is most likely going to be doing padding because I think I want to get this uh, this page a little bit nicer as far as uh, um, you know getting everything arranged so that we can start doing some. Uh, uh, more Photoshop on the background and and all that good stuff. I might end up taking out like this content here and just leaving one big uh, body there, and then a bigger footer with another set of uh, um, with another list of um, uh, I can't I can't think right now. <laughs> it's it's uh, really early. Um, might be making another list of. Uh, uh, underline being uh, unordered list there we go I'm sorry um, on the bottom like three rows so that you can have a box down there and then a list of three rows um, I don't know I'm just trying to get some ideas together so that's that's what you can look forward to in the next tutorials other than that y'all have a nice day I'm about to go to work um, and when I get back I'll I'll probably take care of that margin tutorial so have a nice day. It's my it's uh my uh I think I don't know eleventh or twelfth video or something like that. So be sure to subscribe. Um put your comments below, get them views up, and check out mygeekcentral.com. Cool. Alright, later.